Hey everyone, today we're going to be doing a seed haul video. I have all kinds of seeds that I want to show you, but first we're going to take a really quick look at my new gardening boots. Hosea sent me these boots to try for free. I told them that if I liked them, I would share them with you all. They're very functional for gardening in. If they get muddy, you can clean them off very easily. Over the past few days, I've been to the store in these, walked all over my yard, been down to the creek, been out by the chicken pen. If you want to check them out, I'll put a link down in the description that you can click on and that'll take you to their website. They also sell on Amazon. If you use the link below, you'll get a discount on your boots. Let's start right here with everyone's favorite pretty seed packets, Baker Creek seeds. Here we have bunching onions. This variety is red Welsh. I love bunching onions. And by the way, these are perennial onions here in zone six. So when you harvest them, you can harvest the whole onion or you can just cut some of the tops off and that way they'll come back the next year. Next, we have Dr. Weish's yellow tomato. This is one of my favorite tomatoes to grow. I've been saving their seeds for years from the plants that I grow out, but I must have gotten some cross pollination because the last time I grew these, the plants produced red tomatoes. They did look just like Dr. Weish's yellow tomatoes, the same shape, the same ribbing up here, but they were red. I think my seeds did cross pollinate. That's not something that happens often with tomatoes, but it can happen. They do cross pollinate sometimes. Brushstrokes Viola. I've grown this one once before. It's very pretty. I have this pepper variety here. I was running very low on pepper seeds. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. It says it's a Macedonian roasting pepper. Bright Lights Cosmos. I love these little Cosmos. They're very pretty. I have seen really tall orange Cosmos in people's yards. So if you know what variety of orange Cosmos grows very tall, let me know because I would love to get some of those. Next, we have some very beautiful lettuce. I'm not sure how to pronounce that, but I think this might also be known as freckles lettuce. I ordered some seeds for these humongous carrots. I actually have clay soil. So I'm going to try to grow some of these in containers and see how they turn out. El Dorado Xenia. This is a very pretty orangish peachy Xenia. I love orange and I love peach, so I had to get them. Winged Bean. I grew these a couple of years ago. Rocky Top Lettuce Mix. Chinese String Eggplants. Thought those were pretty. Another pepper variety that I cannot pronounce. Orange accordion tomato. Then we have tip top rose nasturtium, just very pretty colored nasturtiums. Yellow monster pepper. Look at the size of those. I can't wait to try those. Pandora poppy. I love growing poppies. I'm not going to be planting these until this fall. I have much better luck sowing poppy seeds in the fall, letting them grow slowly over the winter, and then they bloom very beautifully in the spring. Some free lettuce. The variety is Merlot. Very dark red. Some free carrots. May Queen lettuce. This is one of my favorite varieties. Genovese basil. Indiana Giant Coxcomb. Orange Hawaii Marigold. This is supposed to be a very large flowered marigold. Aster pastel mix. I had a really hard time growing China asters for the longest time, but I finally have them figured out. So maybe I should do a video series on how to grow those. Echinacea paradiso, paradiso, super duper, really, really pretty cone flowers. Bulgarian giant leek. Another poppy, Falling in Love. I've grown this variety before. Orange Glow Watermelon. I haven't grown this one in, I don't know, maybe three years. Thornburns Terracotta Tomato. I've been eyeing this one in the Baker Creek catalog for a couple of years, and I finally caved and bought some. Coreopsis Incredible Dwarf Mix. And that's it for the Baker Creek seeds. These are all seeds that I bought out of the stores. Um, I'm lucky enough to live close to a hardware store that sells botanical interest seeds, so I have some of those. We have some double-click blend Cosmos. C. 
seashells cosmos. I'm planning on growing a lot of cosmos this year. German chamomile. I'll plant this in the fall and grow them the exact same way I told you that I grow my poppies. Alpine strawberries. You guys have seen me grow these in the past. I pulled a lot of my old plants up. I'm going to plant some more. Tetra dill. Farmer's market lettuce blends. Can't too, have too many lettuce blends. Sugar magnolia snap pea. Honeycomb hybrid tomato. I don't know. Haven't tried those. They look a little bit like sun sugar and sun gold. Sugar snap peas. Butterfly weed. Bluebird forget-me-nots. These are the smaller spring flowering forget-me-nots. I think they're really cute. Sweet William. These are one of my favorite flowers to grow. They're very pretty. A new to me sunflower variety, citrus. Congo watermelon, one of my favorite watermelons. Okra baby bubba hybrid. So this is a really short, compact okra plant that you can grow in containers. So I'm looking forward to trying those. Some cilantro. These are the Chinese forget-me-nots, the taller forget-me-nots. And I grew these several years ago. It's been a long time, so I'm going to have to do some Googling and get a refresher on how I even did that. Some celery. We really don't have the climate for celery growing here, but you know, whatever. I'll grow some again. Johnny Jump Ups. These are just the best little violas. This variety and Prince Henry do very, very good where I live. Zone 6, Southern Ohio. They spread like crazy, reseeding. They're amazing. Tropicana Lettuce from Pine Tree Gardens. This is supposed to be a variety that can handle heat pretty well. Sweet Beauty, um, Sweet Pepper, Purple Beauty, I've grown this one. Jimmy Nardello, the best sweet pepper in the world, in my opinion. Ancho Hot Pepper, Marconi Red Sweet Pepper, Aspa Brock Broccoli, this is like a little broccolini type plant. They mature very fast. I'm a big fan. More Cosmos, Upper Row Xenia, Oklahoma Formula Mix Xenia. The Oklahoma Xenias are really nice. As beautiful and tall and humongous as the Benares series of Xenias are, I kind of personally favor these. They don't grow as tall. The flowers are not as big, but in my opinion, they're much, much more uniform. The Oklahoma Xenias are maybe a couple of inches wide across, but they have many, many layers of petals. Every time I've grown them, I've been really happy with them. And because they don't get as tall and the blooms aren't as heavy, they don't fall down as easy, easily as the Benary Zinnias and some of the other big varieties. I love all Zinnia varieties though. Queen Lime Red Zinnia, Queen Lime Orange, Gypsy Broccoli, Klondike Blue Ribbon Striped Watermelon, my favorite watermelon for flavor. Angelonia Flowers, I've never grown them before, I have no idea. They just looked really pretty in the picture. Double Camilla Mix Balsam, we'll try that. Lemon Queen Sunflower. Cincinnati Market Radish. I'm from Southwest Ohio, so of course I had to try the Cincinnati Market Radishes. Yellow Moon and Stars Watermelon, the most beautiful watermelon I've ever grown. Cherokee Purple Tomato. Climbing Triple Crop. Never grown this one before. Daydream Cosmos. Love these. More Alpine Strawberries. Alexandria. Another lettuce variety, Thai basil, mammoth dill, artist cucumber, oh, baby oak leaf lettuce. I'm a big fan of oak leaf lettuce, one of my favorites. Boston pickling cucumber, 
Vortex Pole Bean. I grew this variety for the first time last year. These are very nice long fillet beans. No strings, very productive plants. I was impressed. And last but not least, we I ordered a few things from Florette Flowers. Oklahoma Pink Zinnia. I wanted to make sure I had a lot of the pink Oklahoma and a lot of the salmon Oklahoma because I really like those colors. And we have Starfire Marigold Mix and Benary's Giant Bright Pink Zinnia. So that's going to be it for the seed haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope you're looking forward to the growing season as much as I am. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.